Hot dog, baby. Welcome to New Divide Outdoors. This week, I'm out in the mountains of West Texas chasing quail. This is the first time I've chased birds on public land, so this is a new experience for me. I had a ton of fun. There was a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once kind of figured out how things work and how to get on those birds and everything, it turned out pretty decent. I definitely am looking forward to when I go back. Hopefully, it's going to be again this year. But y'all stay tuned, watch this, and then we'll have a little bit of a, of a cleaning and cooking for you guys. Dude, they all landed over there. I seen one on the ground, so I've had to shoot at it. <laughs> I sure hope I got him. I said, I sure hope I got him. I think I did, he'd have flushed. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll each get on a side of that little gully and just walk it. Just be knocking them dead. Hot dog, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yes. Woo, three of them. Yow. Oh, man. Heck yeah. Still right there, where we, where they flush to. Oh, I see them. All right. Hit one. <laughs> I would have thought for sure the one we dusted would have went down. Probably so. Oh, there goes a white wing. Hell, we ought to just... Hey, we ought to just go make a loop, drop down to that tank, and then walk back up the road. See that one? It just flushed from like over here and went higher up. Oh, there, there they are right there. You see them? I mean, they're too far, but I'm pointing at them. I see them going through the bushes. One went up there, and I see these over here. Not at the moment, but they're gonna be somewhere in here. Just be freaking ready. Keep an eye where they go.
you get one? Hey, hold up. Let's move in there slow because there's another one. Get ready. Reload. You got him? Heck yeah, man. Get him. Oh. I think I got two. You got them both? I think so. Just be ready. I'm going to stay right here. Yeah, there's one. And then... There he is, right there. Yeah, like, look how good those things blend in, man. Oh man, heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of teamwork there. Yeah, we can. I mean, we might as well. Yeah. We might as well just hunt this till it's like, yeah. till we can't or whatever. Yeah. Or, you know, we've done it enough in there. Yeah. Dude, those we didn't flush. Uh -uh. They wouldn't flush. Huh? Flush. I don't think so. Dude, I think after they get shot at from, get, from flushing, yeah. uh, they don't flush hardly. Get one? Yep. All right, I did too.
Yeah, I think I got two. Go get that one. Do you see it land? Be ready, because I don't think they went far. I made it back home. Uh, I got home late last night and cleaned some of the birds. I didn't feel like basically videoing when I got back. I just wanted to clean birds, take a shower and go to bed. Uh, so I saved one so I could show you guys basically how to do it. Really simple. Uh, basically all you do is you kind of, basically you're skinning the bird. That way you can keep the thighs, legs, and the breasts all in one and you can cook them whole. Uh, that's just the way I do it. That way you're not losing any meat, anything like that and you get the entire bird. Um, okay, grab a pair of scissors or shears. Come over here, take the legs. You'll cut them right at that knee joint. That's one. That's two. Then feel up here on their chest and just stick, you can either stick the scissors in there to put a little slit in the skin, or you can just pull it apart with your fingers. It's a little easier if you just put a slit to start off with. That way it peels open easier. And basically pull that skin apart. You can see there, that's the breast meat there. We'll just pull the skin right off. Then it'll peel right over that leg and thigh just kind of pull it over it almost like taking a sock off and you got the whole breast both legs out and then kind of loosen this up on its back here so we come over here that we got the wing still and we'll do the same thing we did just like the legs just give it a snip comes right off Peel that over the back side. Then you have the spine that sticks out. Same thing you did with the wing and feet. Just clip that right off against the rib cage. Just like that. And all we have left is the tail. It's easier if you keep it in one whole piece here. But this just tears right off. You see the end of that breast there, that breastbone, and then kind of their hips here. There's this soft spot. We'll put a slit right there, and that way we can pull all the guts out. So we'll just make a little slit, just like that. And you can stick your finger right inside there open it up pull all the guts out but you want to be careful you don't want to 
end up pulling the bird apart because then you'll be left with quail legs and breast separate. It's a lot easier to cook them together and easier to eat that way because it all stays together. So there you have it. Basically like a mini chicken. <laughs> and we will clean this guy off in the sink, dry him off, put him in the fridge, and then I'll show you guys how we're going to cook them. We are back in the kitchen. I've got all the quail all cleaned up here and gonna see about mixing the basically the seasoning or the marinade up. I accidentally already did it without the camera running but anyways nothing nothing crazy. Let me just go over what all we are going to be using. Pretty simple. We'll use salt, pepper, paprika, parsley, olive oil, and a little bit of Worcestershire. And what we'll do is we'll put all these, all the dry seasoning into a little bowl, a little container, and then from there we'll put the olive oil and the Worcestershire and mix that once you've already put the dry seasonings in there. That way it mixes, mixes better, it mixes better that way. So that's the way I do it. I've got my marinade, whatever you want to call it, basting mix all done up and got my quail all cleaned dried off everything now i'm just going to basically lay these guys out on this bacon sheet and see about putting all of this little concoction i've made up on these birds and then we'll see about getting the grill going and getting them on the grill. I'll set the grill to medium, which would be about, say, 350. We'll go put three sixty-five. Let it heat up, and then we'll see about putting the quail on there. And then we'll lay them on their side. Let those sit for eight minutes on that side and then we'll come back and uh, flip them for eight minutes and they should be done. All right, it's been eight minutes. Ooh, look at them guys. Oh, they look good. All right, eight more minutes and pull them off and ready to eat. All right, they should be done. Oh yeah. Oh, they look delicious, my gosh. On Mountain Pimp. Making me a plate. Get two of them. Save some for Shelby, the camera woman. Then we got this wild rice and couscous to go with it. That. And some Brussels sprouts. I'm going to give these guys a shot. We'll just bite it right off the breast, off the bone like that. Sorry for the Braves and Astros game in the background. I'm listening to it right now. Mmm. That's so good. If you ain't never had quail, you, uh, you gotta try it. This is an easy, simple recipe. And, uh, really, I mean, quail is just like chicken. It don't, don't need much to it. And, uh, that's good stuff. But 
that's all I got. I'm going to finish eating this, let you guys go. If you enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe, that thumbs up, and we'll see you all next time.